Now, I've got a fun one for you today. It's not a real difficult tie, but it does have one technique that a new tire might not be familiar with, and that's using foam to make an extended body. Now, I got this one from Dave Hughes Essential Trout Flies, and he's got several variations of this style in here. It's got some big western golden stone flies, a green drake, even a fall caddis. But the one I'm going to be doing for you today, it's a yellow sally. And that's just because that's one of the hatches we have here in Maryland. And our yellow sally is a, you know, fairly small bug. Think maybe size 12 to 16. But this technique and this style, you can use it for all kinds of patterns. If you fish the big western rivers, um, maybe you're tying this thing in as big as a 6 or 8. Or if you fish the eastern tailwaters, maybe down to an 18. So it's a pretty versatile pattern. And this technique, well, it's a good one to have in your bag of tricks. So there's one in the vise, just a foam extended body stonefly. In this case, we're doing a yellow sally. So this is a size 12. If you were doing a big western stonefly, you might want to go you know, bigger. You could go as big as a six or eight. First thing you want to do to tie in the extended body, just a regular sewing hook right here. Now I've got a piece of one millimeter foam and I've cut it for this size 12, this is maybe a little bit less than a quarter of an inch wide. And I'm just gonna poke it through right in the middle, if I can get it right there. Uh, okay, that'll be fine. And I'm gonna use some yellow thread. And I'll catch it in toward the back right here. Not real tight wraps. You don't want it to be hard to slide off, but a good, you know, 10 or 12 wraps. And what I will do on some of these is just try to get a little um, half hitch right here. And that might help it come off a little bit easier. So the first thing we're gonna do here, don't pull this all the way up to the thread. Fold it over, you know, about however long you want that first butt segment to be. And then do Oh, three or four medium tight wraps right here. Okay, and that's gonna be our back end. Now take your thread up between them and go up here to where you want the next segment. And we'll do the same thing. We'll do this two more times. And three segments should be fine. If you want a fourth one, you can do that when you tie it onto the, the body of the fly. So let's go ahead and pull a little bit of thread out and whip finish it right here on this last segment. Now just, you know, try to wiggle it around and then twist it off. And you might get a little bit of a natural bend to it, and that's a good thing if you do. That's kind of the body we want. And this is a, a good time if you want to color it. If you've got a, a colored Sharpie or something like this, just go ahead and, you know, model it a little bit. Now, if I was gonna tie a bunch of these, I would have done all the bodies at one time. But for this demo, I'm just gonna do the one. So let's go ahead and put our size 12 hook in. That's a standard length, uh, wide gap, barbless dry fly hook. And we'll catch in this same thread, about in the middle of it. We're not gonna take it all the way back. We kinda of want this extended body sticking up. Okay, so maybe at the point of the hook, not all the way back, let's go ahead and catch in this this body and snip those off even if you want you could just snip one of them and tie one of them in but this is a pretty thin foam so we can get away with just burying this whole thing right here and again if you wanted four segments you'd kind of leave the last one like that i i think we're fine with just burying most of it now i'm going to put some wax on my thread before i catch in the next component which is going to be the wing of elk hair now, if your little patch of elk hair looks as bad as mine right here, it's got all kinds of under fur, you definitely want to pull that under fur out before you put it in your stacker. Let's see if that's stacked okay. Yep, I think we're fine. And I want this almost as long as the, the underbody right there. So let's cord up our thread. It might help it bind just a little bit more when we wrap it on. So get your length right. Okay, I think that it's gonna be okay right there. Got a couple of loose ones. Now we'll just do a 
couple of loose to medium pinch wraps right here. And it's gonna flare up up front, and that's gonna be fine. Just, you know, maybe try not to get too much flare on the back. But if you do, that's probably fine too. So let's go ahead and really bind this in up front. Now spend a few seconds, trim up all this mess up front. Okay, now's the time. Take a look at the underside, what the fish are gonna see. You might want some of that wing coming off the side, but if you don't want that much, just trim a couple of these coming off the side here. Okay, I think that's gonna be good right there. And I'm gonna spend a few extra wraps just trying to smooth this area out where we're catching our legs and then dub the thorax. So next up, we're gonna do the legs. Just some, you know, thin, silly legs and a brown or a tan would work. You could probably do a yellow with this color scheme we've got right here. So I've got one piece and I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time trying to get this perfect. I'm just gonna lay it over on each side and I'm catching it in kind of right in the middle. Loose wraps right here to keep it, you know, get it positioned before we move on. And we can always use our dubbed body to try to position them later, which is what I usually have ended up doing. Okay, so I think that's gonna be fine right there. You can do a couple of tight wraps if you want, but go ahead and put your thread behind these legs right in front of that wing. And now, Put a little more wax on it and we'll put our dubbing on. And Dave Hughes mentioned using a synthetic, so I've got an Antron dubbing right here. I'm gonna put a, maybe a three inch noodle. So we're gonna put a couple wraps behind those legs, a couple in between them, and then a, a couple up front. Now this might be the trickiest part of the fly, just trying to wrap this dubbing, get a couple wraps behind these legs and then a couple in between it and try to keep your, you know, get a decent proportion thorax here. And we'll try to pretty these legs up in just a second, but while, before we do that, let's go ahead and finish off this head. Just try to pull this back a little bit, make sure you don't block your eye, and then go ahead and whip finish it. Now try to position your legs and then we'll cut them off to length. And what I've been doing, I've been cutting the front ones just a little bit shorter than the back ones. I doubt it really makes a, a big difference, but that's just kind of what I've been doing. And there you go a foam extended body stonefly pattern. Not real difficult to tie, but a pretty good looking bug. So I appreciate you watching everybody. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.